Welcome back to another Good Good Labs video. In today's video, we have Claire on the channel and she's gonna share some tips with us on what she does in her putting. You guys have seen me struggle with the putter, so I don't really wanna hear what I have to say, but I do know how good putters make a lot of putts, but we're gonna let her really share because she has one of the best putting strokes I've seen. I think we can all learn a little bit from it. checkpoints when you're putting and what do you go through all right so I have four basic tips for golfers in putting and these are pretty fundamental tips and so the first one is gonna be having your eyes over the ball this is really about getting the proper posture in your putting if you're not in a correct posture to yeah. like really see the line if you're you know putting way like this or if your putters like way inside your eyes you're gonna be struggling like what she just said eyes over the ball one drill that you guys can do that will ensure that your eyes are over the ball is when you get over the ball here take a tee or anything like a ball marker and you guys can drop it right from your eyes here and see where that lands that landed obviously a little bit inside of the ball so that may mean that my eyes are not directly over the ball it may be a little bit too far inside it really helps to see the line is what it right. is so exactly. if you're directly over the ball you exactly. can see the line super clear versus if it's way out here or way inside your eyes if you're going to error what i've heard is that the ball can be just a little bit outside of your eye line right so it's okay if the tee falls somewhere in here i totally agree if you don't want to be too far over top of the ball like this yeah. it's going to cause your stroke to go inside yeah. so if anything guys be a little bit in Inside the ball stand a little bit mm -hmm. too far away. Yeah, I don't really see many people making that mistake. I always see people usually a little bit too far away. So that's like, the first tip, get you in a good posture to see the line. And then my second tip that again is very fundamental is having your weight on your left side while you're putting. And this will kind of just anchor you into the putt a little bit more on your left side. You're not not like a chip or a pitch or anything, right. but just maybe 60-40 you think? 60-40, you maybe even 70-30. We want to just keep our weight on our left anchor that there yep. pivot around that that'll allow you to kind of keep that stroke coming through very level there if you're more on the right side i can see or even too centered i can see a little bit of swaying right. might start to happen so really anchoring into that left side and then just making your stroke from that point is gonna really help with consistency after those first two tips guys let's let's see her hit a couple putts and then we're gonna go on with two more tips that she has. I immediately just kind of start trying to draw my eyes back. I feel like my eyes are over the ball here. Sometimes I might get a little too far this way, sometimes too far this way. Looking at this line here, it looks really straight to me because my eyes are directly over the ball. Here I'm gonna kind of anchor into my left side just a bit and make my stroke based off of that. Really solid stroke there. Maybe just broke a little bit, maybe a misread. A lot of factors that go into putting, but let's move on to tip number three, which is the length of the backstroke. So you can error on both sides. You know, in the video with Garrett, he tends to error a little bit on too short of a backstroke. So he takes it back a little bit short and he knows he's not gonna get it there, so he kinda has to hit at it. The stroke gets a little bit jerky, a little bit yippy, and you don't really have that pendulum feel anymore. On the other end of the spectrum, you'll have some golfers who take a little bit too long of a backstroke. They know that if they come through with any normal pendulum speed, it's gonna go significantly past the hole, it's gonna go too far, so then they'll decelerate through here. That's not good either. Not good. Right. So we really wanna have the proper length backstroke so we don't either have to hit at it or decelerate to try to get proper speed. The fourth one, which is lining up the ball, but picking out a spot to roll the ball over. You probably know there's a line on the ball. Some people have a preference to use that line. I personally do not. It kind of gets me, never quite looks right once I stand up to the ball. So I personally don't, but if you prefer it and it helps you hit your line properly, definitely do so. Right, so she's more of somebody who likes to pick out a little bit of a spot to yes. hit it over versus somebody who likes to line the ball up. I heard what she said where people get over the ball and it looks a little bit off all the time. A lot of people I've played with have said that exact thing. So if you do struggle with that, make sure you're just picking out a spot in front of the ball to hit it over. I'll look about six inches out. I'm not going to pick a, pot, a spot way out over here to try and aim for. That's just a little bit too hard of a goal to meet. You can pick a spot about, you know, five, six inches out in front of your ball. You can confidently say, I can roll it over that spot. And you know, if you roll it over that spot that you've chosen from behind the ball, where you can see the line clearer, assuming you read the putt correctly and you pick a proper spot, if you roll it over that spot at the proper speed, you have such a good chance of it going in. That really gives you confidence and it gives you a like kind of a small goal that you know you can meet. Claire's gonna get over the ball and go through those checkpoints. Walking in, I'm finding my spot as I walk in. 
My eyes are over the ball so I can see the line really clearly. Setting up the putter. Just getting my stance right, kind of anchoring my weight a little bit into the left side more. Okay, and then I'm just gonna focus on that spot just in front of the ball. Take a proper length backstroke. Obviously, hopefully you can kind of practice that in your practice strokes before you get up to it. Hopefully make the putt. That is a putting stroke you want to copy because one thing Claire does really well is she always makes sure, what I notice is she takes a long enough backstroke, she has momentum to hit the ball. So it's not short and jab, it's not too long decel, she's always taking the proper length backstroke and that's gonna help you guys out a lot because you don't have to force the acceleration or decelerate. The reason that getting that proper length backstroke and having that really nice natural momentum through there is good for you is because if you're decelerating, that putter is probably moving left and it's changing angles. Right, if you're your jabbing wrist. at it, it's probably also changing angles. So right. when I have that nice smooth momentum, the putter face stays super stable and square the whole time. Well guys, that is about it for today's video. That was awesome learning from Claire because like I said already, she's putted insane on video. She's made a lot of putts on camera and it's good. I think we can all learn a lot from her. If you guys have not already, hit that subscribe button. We're offering free golf content on this channel. Not many places have that. Click that bell, get those notifications. Until next time guys, peace out. I'm